our guest today, who is the mayor of Los Angeles, Mayor Richard Reardon, and has been since 1993. And uh, let's uh, go to the first call here. Paula, you have a question for the mayor? Hello, yes. Um, as I understand it, our airwaves ha were given away with the understanding that cable costs uh, would come down for customers and the opposite has happened. And I'd like to know whether uh, because uh, each cable company has a monopoly in a particular uh, area. Okay, your complaint is that your cable bill is too high, right? And, and, and I'd like to know what he's willing and able to do uh, about um, okay. breaking the monopoly. Yeah, there was supposed to be regulation to bring down our cable bills, but instead uh, somehow they found a way to sneak up the fees. Uh, the cable franchises in Los Angeles are for a period of time, and they were let out before I was mayor. Uh, they'll be up uh, for renewal in about three years, uh, and uh, at that time uh, we can negotiate with them to make sure that they do give more reasonable bills. But there's no question about it. Uh, they're very profitable. They have put billions of dollars into infrastructure, but uh, I think uh, most of us are very envious of the profits they're making. All right, Bob, your question. Uh, yes. Um, my name is Todd. I'm an investigator. And I work side by side with investigators from LAPD. The only difference is, um, you know, I'm a civilian and I'm disabled. So what's your question? My question is, outside your record building, you have handicapped parking, but they turn into tow-away zones at 3 p.m. when your offices are open till 5. And what happens is I move my vehicle and park it two blocks away and I hobble back. And it's when I can't return. Okay, handicapped park parking park that ends at 3 there. when buildings are open till 5, I guess, is the now, issue. I, I, uh, this is the first I've heard about that, and I think that's very, very unfair. Uh, and I missed where uh, you were parking. Okay. Uh, we've that's lost okay. the color. Uh, Darlene, go ahead. Yes, uh, I have a friend who has eight children, and uh, she was telling me that, uh, that with this new system of children going to school at different times rather than year-round, that her children don't go to school together, and they don't go to school when her neighbor's children go to school. And she okay. feels that it's tearing down the family unit. Okay, and they have yeah different uh, tracks. Yeah. So the different tracks are making it somewhat of a dysfunctional family. It sounds well. Like. I think it's just another ex example of how dysfunctional the Los Angeles school system is. Essentially, they built almost no new schools in the last. Uh, 25 years, uh, and particularly in the poorer neighborhoods, they built zero schools, and so you have the overcrowding, the uh, year-round schools uh, with people being on track, off track, and that's one of the things that new management has to change. All right, Jay, your question. Jay? Yes, uh, my question is, uh, what's the future of LAX Airport uh, as far as expansion goes? Uh, my proposal uh, is to uh, increase the capacity of LAX by about 50 percent, but part of that is to spend about $2 billion, uh, which doesn't come out of the city treasury, by the way, uh, to have traffic mitigation, put a highway around the airport, connect this highway directly to all the freeways in the area, to connect the green line fixed rail directly into the airport, but we have to do this if we're going to meet the competition on cargo and passenger traffic in the next century. All right, Norma, your question. Norma? Yes. Uh, yes, what is the city doing to attract corporate headquarters again to Los Angeles? Uh, I have a business team called the LA Mayor's Business Team, which works very hard uh, with my office, with me. Uh, in trying to attract headquarters to Los Angeles. A very simple fact is throughout the country, headquarters of major corporations have moved out of the big cities. They've downsized dramatically so that uh, even if they'd stayed in the city, they'd be a small fraction of employees as they were before. So in a sense, it's not a, as big a loss as it would have been 20 years ago to lose a headquarters. But uh, it's sure something I'd like to see happen here, particularly since charitable giving by a big corporation tends to follow where their headquarters are. All right, two years left. Uh, I hope we have you in uh, 
yeah. frequently over the next two years. One big goal you want to achieve uh, with the remaining term in office? Well, it still comes down to safety and education. And uh, if you don't have a safe city, businesses and jobs aren't coming to the city. If you don't have an educated workforce, uh, jobs are not going to come to the city. So we have to concentrate on these. We have to be tough. We have to have the backbone to fire people who fail children. And we have to be tough on criminals. Terrific. Great having you here again. Richard, Good to see thanks. you. Yeah. And uh, hope to have you back again soon. Mayor Richard Reardon, City of Los Angeles, my guest on a special edition of Inside City Hall. Have a great weekend. Coming up next, Mike Russell with a market wrap-up. Stay tuned to Business News 22.